Okay, next, I would like to invite uh, Professor Gunawan Tayono, expert member of UI Green Metric, to deliver the speech in the topics uh, 2020 UI Green Metric indicators and data submissions process. Professor Gunawan, uh, please. Hello, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, my dear colleagues in Thailand, good morning. Always morning for the hope. Uh, let me take this opportunity to continue what Professor Junadi had told you about the submission of UI Green Metric. Okay, this year's theme is university's responsibility for sustainable development goals and world complex challenges. In world complex challenges is still going on. We now um, uh, had been attacked by the pandemic, uh, COVID-19. As you all know that we have six criteria. The first is static infrastructure, and the second is energy and climate change, and the third is waste management, and the fourth is water management, and then uh, transportation management, and then finally education and research. Now, you would like to know about the percentage of each criteria. Static and infrastructure take 15% of the total <coughs> point. And energy and climate change, as we know, is uh, become the main issue in the world. So it takes about 21% of the total point. But don't just concentrate on setting infrastructure as well as energy and climate change, because all the criteria is very significant to impact our campus life. Waste consists of 18% uh, of the total point, and then water 10%. Actually, this is still a questionable. And transportation consists of 18% of the total point. Then education and research is also take 18 points of the total point. Now, each criteria, each category has several indicators. Let's say setting infrastructure consists of 300 points. No, okay, 15%. Uh, it's total 1,500 points. It consists of six subcategories with each indicator. Uh, the ratio and open space area to total area. As you know that open space is utmost important right now. During the pandemic COVID, we know that open space is very important for you to enjoy the airflow etc. And the sub criteria number two is the total area on campus covered in forest vegetation. Why forest vegetation is important? Because it becomes a kind of land of the campus. As you know, lands will <clears throat> distill the airflow into your body. So as the environment. When you have a forest vegetation, uh, then it will become the lunch, it will function as the lunch for your university. The third sub criteria is the total area on campus covered in planted vegetation. Of course, 
some university has very small percentage of plant vegetation as well as forest vegetation. But such university, which are mostly in the urban center, can gain another point, which is not in this category, say in transportation and probably uh, research and other point. So don't worry about to fill out this area. This will not necessarily minimize your point. And then subcategories four is about the total area on campus for water absorption. Then go on with the total open space area divided by total campus. You have uh, the formula in the guidelines. You can follow about that. When you get all of this, uh, the, the last one is a percentage of university budget for sustainable efforts within a year. Uh, then, of course, we cannot get 100% of the university budget for sustainable efforts. But we expect that if you have a more than 15%, possibly my university had already achieved this number. All total of the six categories, we get you 1,500 point. Then we go on to the second category, which is about uh, energy and climate change, which consists of 21% of point for all of you. You can go on to the subcategory one is net energy efficient appliances usage, which I think most university are very conscious about this and can apply energy efficient appliances already. The second one is smart building implementation. We will provide you some example later from this presentation, but it is not necessarily compulsory to fit that kind of example, but it's only show you, you can find another source. If it is reliable, then we will we'll accept it. Then we go on to the number of renewable energy sources in campus, which we get you 300 points. You fill out all this. The total electricity usage divided by total campus population. That means uh, each person. What happened if all of uh, your students in re uh, using the online course, as we you know now the COVID uh, pandemic condition? Just fill out and give your explanation. We will consider with other uh, fair <clears throat> measurement for you. Then we go on to the sub criteria number five of this uh, second category, the ratio of renewable energy production divided by total energy usage per year. And then go on with elements of green building implementation. If you get more than three, three elements, let's say uh, natural ventilation, and then um, other air conditioning, uh, efficiency, and, and so on, then you can get a, about uh, 300 points. Sub criteria number seven is part of greenhouse gas emission reduction program, which consists of 200 points if you can fulfill all of the requirements. Then we get into the last one of this uh, second category, the total carbon footprint divided by the total campus population. So we need to know uh, like a 
GDP uh, per capita uh, stock to get on all of this calculation. Then we have the third category, which is waste management for you. Of course, we know that waste is uh, very important for our health. So it's we determine our well-being to live in the campus, which consists of also six subcategories, which is recycling program, university waste, it's a 300 point program to reduce the use of paper and plastic on campus. I think my will do it very well as the example shown by uh, the president of the university. Then the third one is organic waste treatment. The fourth one is org inorganic waste treatment and then toxic waste treatment and then sewage disposal. Later on, we will discuss this, how the impact of the waste for education but we are still developing that tools. Then we go to the fourth categories, which is uh, water management. It consists of uh, four subcategories, which is uh, water conservation program implementation. It has 300 points for you to fill out. Of course, we want all of you can achieve 50% uh, water co conserved in the campus. More than that, so you got the 300 point. And secondly, water recycling program implementation is also 300 point. Then water efficient appliances usage. Um, and then treated water consumed. If you have already using the UT, utilization of the city water supply system, then you just give the explanation for us. We may consider that for you. The fifth category is about transportation. You know that transportation is very important now uh, for the mobility. But as far as you can utilize the public transportation system of university serves such a service, then you can get more point on this category. The first one is about the total number of vehicles, car and motorcycle divided by total campus population. These vehicles, cars and motorcycles are mostly the, the transmit most carbon dioxide. Now go on to the second one is the shuttle services. If you have a university totally a shuttle service, especially when it go to the zero emission vehicle in the campus, then we got very good point on these two. Then we go on to the fourth. The also translation consists of uh, eight subcategory, that which is a uh, total number of zero emission vehicle divided by total number of campus budget. Okay, this is also a per capita. If you are now under the pandemic condition, then full explanation will be good for us to. To know about that. Uh, because uh, the condition now is put on a lot of uncertainty, but we have the expert discussion meeting for considering all of the reasonable 
condition for your university about this uh, subcategory. The fifth one of uh, uh, transportation this is the ratio of the ground parking area first are designed on the car based basic. Uh, sorry for the internet. Unstable. But consider the public transportation become being more important and the subtle surface becoming more important, then that means that you will have less carbon dioxide emission in the Parking area, if it is in the open space, then it will also good for environment, the living. Then we go on to the transportation program designed to limit the, or decrease the use of vehicles. This is uh, the, the last three years information rather than only last year information. So please provide it as clearly as uh, this criteria that the use of public transportation or zero emission vehicles in the campus. And then we go on to the last one. Which is pedestrian. They provide more information for this by summit evidence and also explanation. This is concern, uh, con concerning the education and research on sustainability, which consisted, uh, which consists of seven subcategories. The first one is the ratio of sustainability courses to total course of subject. Uh, you can calculate it as long as it's touch on those in the category of sustainability. In Mahidol's presentation this morning, now it, it expands into not only three, but it's expanded into five. Right? With uh, people, planet, and then uh, prosperity, and, and now the peace, and uh, participate early. When it touch on that subject, it will be considered as uh, including into the course. And we go on to the, the ratio of sustainability research funding to total research funding. More than 40% we consider is the most. But you need to provide us information if you cannot match this. But you have uh, other research in members is not sufficient to meet this. And then the number of scholarly publication or oh, uh, what I explained to you before possibly also apply to this one scholarly publication on sustainability, how can you reach uh, 300 more than that? That's when the size of your university should be sufficiently large to, in order to achieve this. That means that we have a kind of possibility to compare 
all of the sufficient and make kind of normal curve analysis to consider this. Then we go on to the number of events related to sustainability. So in this category, education and research, also we need to know the events which promote the sustainability, which uh, means that your university has paid so much attention to increase the awareness of sustainability living. Of course, we encourage the number of student organizations related to sustainability in, in, in this con consideration. Then we go on to the six subcategories is university run sustainability website. I think most of you had already established a website for this. But finally, we need to know whether you always update the sustainability report. So if you fill out all of these category and uh, indicators, then you can expect to reach as closely as this 1,800 point. In this year, we, we are attempting to establish some more criteria to reach out. When you have all of these criteria, how about the impact of the category to influence the life and the community around or even the nationwide? So please fill out questionnaire we provided, but in this year, these three questions will not be calculated because this is a tryout. We are still developing it into a kind of more mature condition to distribute it to you. First is a startup of the green economy. Then your name, area, which is in the setting infrastructure or energy or and so on. The second one is about the community services. I think most of the university research and the services become part of the program. So I don't think this will cause you difficulty to fill out. Then the public access to open spaces and green spaces. Why this is important is because this will increase the inclusiveness of your university into the public life. When you open your university to the public, that means you increase the inclusiveness of your university to invite or give easy access from the public to your university to increase the mixture of uh, the social backgrounds people to enjoy your university and become part of the campus life of your university. So these three new questions is to kind of try out and please fill out it. Then we will get uh, to to uh, uh, get a good feedback from you. And then we develop it to uh, become uh, distributable for you to fill out in a reason and then become a calculable to meet the, the criteria for ranking. How to provide evidence? Okay. To support your university submission and review, and evidence is very important. Otherwise, it will result in a declining score, which we don't expect any of this. Because when we have no evidence, it's difficult for us to judge. 
So you just follow the link and then the, you can provide picture, graphic, tables, data, etc. And then you can explain it. For each question provided by evidence and maximum size of evidence, remember that the maximum size is two megabytes. And then don't forget to provide you UI green metric rights to use your data and picture as best practices, example, and informational purposes. So now we go on to fill out the questionnaire. I think in, in the, when you click on, it will appear, right? Then we have uh, some important notice. I think you can look at it, especially for using this the example. Dot is used when it is necessary. When you filling in percentage only, then dot can be used. Just follow the guidelines, then you can see, and then you, you get, and then the size of the option. Yeah. Then you can go on to get this. When you want to click this and all this one and this one, this one, this one, it's uh, which character that you want to fill out. Yes. And then click the question mark icon for the detail of the question. In the climate change also. Then after that, you upload your evidence in this time template. Select new evidence. So two ways to check again your uploaded evidence, display upload evidence, and then second, download and upload your evidence. Yeah. Then finally download evidence template. This is uh, about the three new questions. University startup, you can add this. Which area is it in the setting and infrastructure or other? Green space, it's easy for you to fill out. Community services, click to add comma, community services, criteria. Now it is about the example or evidence. Put your university logo here and then fill the data correctly. After that, delete the sample map. Then replace the data with your university data here. Add some link for an online evidence in the uh, left side corner underneath. Evidence could be picture, graphic, tables, data, etc., and provide explanation in description section for the picture submitted. Then all should be in English, of course. Then how to submit? Then you can click print draft answer before you submit. Please save first, after that if you really 
consider is completed, then you can submit your question now. After submit, you cannot edit the questionnaire anymore. So be careful about this. Okay. If you are sure, just submit. This is template of evidence for questionnaire two. You can go on to our website and see the example. For smart building also we have example, but you can find your own example. When it is reviable, then acceptable, then we will accept it. Some smart building from University of Salerno, and this one is from University uh, College Cork, Ireland. Uh, this is from other source. This one is from Oxford Brook University about water monitoring system. And then water recovery. Indoor environment, we have a real time by the Colorado State University for the indoor environment real time uh, videos. Then indoor environment about a passive system, example from Oxford Brook University, about lighting, the evidence of lighting from uh, Wageningen University and research sensor. And then this is from Santo Normal University. Now I think that the name has been changed. Natural light. Okay, now we are almost uh, at the final stage of my presentation. Remember the date. You still have time to submit it as uh, Professor Junaidi had mentioned before. Then this is the date for our validation, internal validation. Sometimes we also invite external reviewer. Then after all is completed, we will announce it by early December. So thank you for this. I will return the, the, the screen to Professor Kitikon. Okay. Thank you, Professor Gunawan Tayono, for your valuable talking on the UI Green Metric Indicators and Data Submission Process of the year 2020. I think we still have a little bit time for the questions. Uh, we have some questions from uh, online. Uh, I think these questions might be goes to Professor Kunawan Tayono. Uh, we have some uh, small questions asking you about uh, what is the meaning of the treated waste, uh, treated water consume? Professor Kunawan, can you answer this question, please? Okay. Uh. I think uh, the, the audience is uh, a little bit confused about the meanings of the uh, treated water consume. Uh, this is a treated wastewater or water uh, treated water that uh, used to be as a tap water. Professor Kunawan, you are still here? Oh, sure, sure, sorry. Okay. Uh, my speaker has some problem. Okay. Well, I think the meaning is uh, you, how do you recycle your wastewater, which is a more important point for us. Uh, as you know that when you recycle, it means that two possibilities, you downcycling it or you upcycling it. 
if you upside clean that spin, you get a cleaner water rather than uh, not so clean uh, for you to become as clean as the tap water. Okay. Okay, this is uh, the treat water consume is mean the, uh, how much of the treated waste water that you can recycle. It's right. not the uh, treated water uh, supply for the tap water system. No. Okay. Right. Thank you for your answer. Uh, I think we have some another small questions, but it's, I think it's a little bit uh, very difficult for our speaker to answer this question because the questions is go to the national policy of the Thailand right now of the BCG model related to the SDG. I think I will reply these uh, questions uh, later after finish the webinar. Okay. Thank okay. you for your uh, answer this question and uh, uh, your, uh, thank you for your presentation.